Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be going over the new Football Outsiders cards. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video. I had just started back up with college, so I had to figure out how hard the semester was going to be and whatnot, so that took some time. And so I should be back to a more regular video schedule. Maybe Monday I'll get out a video letting you know uh, approximately what days and what times you can uh, expect videos somewhere around there. Times obviously aren't usually going to be right because I upload it anytime, uh, but the days should give you a concrete idea. Obviously, there's still possibilities for different packs and bundles and stuff like that on top of what's already there, but that'll just give you a base idea. So let's start out here with the first card. Let me go down so it doesn't get bought out. Uh, John Urschel is the first card right guard for the Ravens, 85 overall. Uh, 6'3", uh, back of the card stats are 86 strength, 83 awareness, 72 agility, 71 speed, 84 excel, 83 run block and 90 pass block as well as 91 impact blocking. Uh, pretty decent card, uh, not bad pass blocking and not bad awareness. Uh, he gives plus 6 to speed run, uh, chem, and so not much for hidden stats for linemen, but we can come all the way down to the bottom, look at different stuff like this right here, impact blocking, already went over that, 93 run block strength, 85 run block footwork, uh, 88 pass block strength and 82 pass block footwork. Uh, he's got 94 injury, not a great 82 stamina, but not too big of a deal. And that's it for him. But he is cheap, sitting at right around 1,400 coins. So go ahead and pick him up. I might pick him up just to, just to kind of set him away, just in case maybe they put the football outsiders cards in positional collections or something like that. Uh, the next card is going to be the fullback. Where's fullback? Load. There we go. Uh, Tyler Klutz, fullback for the Cowboys. So the first two cards were on the teams that lost. So that makes sense. I think each team that wins should get a card. And then the best out of the teams that lost get, uh, get one of those cards, I guess, for those first rounds. But that's not how it works. Uh, but he is 6'2", 86 speed, 88 strength, 83 awareness, 88 run block, 83 catching, uh, 80 carrying, 77 stiff arm, and 83 trucking. So not a terrible card. Throw him up here against Franco Harris, and he actually uh, has him beaten run blocking and strength and uh, tied with him in catching. But Franco really has the edge when you want to run your fullback, which I do a decent amount. Uh, so... Tyler Klutz, though, not bad for around, like, 5 to 6K. He gets plus 5 to short pass chem. And uh, we'll go down here and look at some of his depth chart stats. Pass blocking is a 61. Uh, jumping, he has 74 jumping. Uh, impact blocking is 90. Uh, run block strength is 84. Run block footwork is 81. 66 pass block strength and 61 pass block footwork. Uh, 88 stamina, uh, an 82 catch in traffic, that's a nice little hidden stat there, uh, 65 release, uh, but all in all, not a terrible card. So next we're going to go over the card that actually I picked up, wide receiver for the Patriots, Danny Amendola, uh, who had a very nice game for my Patriots, uh, he's still sitting at 13k, I bought mine yesterday for 14.5 I think, so didn't lose too many coins for buying it yesterday, but he is an 88 overall wide receiver. He has 90 speed, 88 awareness, 93 catching, 92 elusiveness, 88 spec catch, 76 release, 94 route running, and 94 catch in traffic. Uh, he's 5'11", so short, but plus 7 to ground and pound chem. And look at some of his hidden stats. Uh, 95 acceleration, pretty good. 88 awareness, uh, 65 run block, so not bad there. Uh, 83 jumping, 90 kick return, uh, pretty good juke and spin move, uh, real nice stamina, 98 stamina, 85 injury makes sense, but it's kind of low, <laughs> uh, 76 release, kind of wish that was higher, but all in all, a pretty good card, I definitely picked it up for the price just because I'm a Patriots fan and uh, it's pretty cheap, so uh, I decided to pick it up. Next is the, uh, let's see here, don't. What wide receiver? What middle linebacker? And so the next one is Dequell Jackson, middle linebacker for the Colts. 
uh, 91 overall. He's six foot, 86 speed, 88 awareness, 82 strength, 92 tackle, 93 player act, 88 block shed, 95 pursuit, and 90 zone. A really good card. I wish he was a little bit faster. Had higher awareness. Well, the awareness is pretty good uh, and better strength, but I think he has some other stuff that I don't like. But plus nine to run stuff. Of course, the auction ended. Okay, we'll just come all the way down here. All right, so he has 67 catching, which is kind of terrible. Um, 79 jumping, not awful. Let's see, none of this stuff really matters. 82 power move with 88 block shed. So he'd be decent, I guess, on the blitz. Not great. 77 man is pretty good. Uh, 99 injury, 97 stamina are good. A 94 hit power, that's nice. The card is decent, but I don't know. Uh, right now, something's got to really blow me away for me to trade in Keekly for anything. So hopefully maybe something will come because I really don't like using that Keekly. Uh, and then finally, the 24-hour card, uh, which I actually thought about getting, but if he's still the ridiculous place he was yesterday, I'm not doing it. Because I'm not paying 525k for a quarterback. Uh, but it is Russell Wilson, uh, 95 overall. Gives uh, boost to short pass and long pass, plus 10 to both. He's 5'11", 90 speed, 85 awareness, 94 throw power, 92 throw accuracy short, uh, 91 throw accuracy mid, 94 throw accuracy deep, 93 play action, and 80 elusiveness. A very nice card. Uh, it's just way too expensive. I just don't want to spend 525k on him. Uh, let's see here. He's got 70 catching, 79 carrying, which is really pretty good for a quarterback. Uh, 86 jumping. Nice spin juke move. Not an awful stiff arm. Down here, 98 stamina. That's good, so you can run him. 90 injury. Not the greatest, but uh, throwing stats, he's got... I already went over those, but throw on the run is an 89, uh, so not terrible throw on the run. That's probably up there with uh, the Aaron Rodgers, so pretty decent card, but in my honest opinion, not really worth 500k for a quarterback, uh, especially like a 95 overall. It wouldn't be much if he was like a 97 or a 98 or a 99, but in my opinion, not necessarily worth it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me, th let me know what you guys think of these football outsiders. And uh, let me know if you picked up any of them, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.